So we are very slowly going uh, till the end and now is the effect I really like and the effect which looks really great on this project as I tried before so I can tell you this before so I can tell you this uh, now and this effect is called of course lightning effects which are in Photoshop but before uh, we do this um, of course we have to uh, create a stamp we have to uh, create our uh, layer our image we already made and to create a stamp on the top we have to press alt control or command if you're working on Mac shift and E and there you go I'm going to call this lightning effect but uh, before we can use this like this but if we use lightning effects right now we won't have opportunity to change anything so always when you are adding any effects into your layer into your image layer click right and then convert to smart object then you can be sure that this effect you're going to do going to be applied into the layer uh, above the layer uh, you creating so basically you can remove this effect anytime you want uh, and if I would use lightning effects in um, straight into this layer we have to remove all uh, all the layer so remember always use a smart object let's go to filter as I said before render and lightning effect And of course, uh, the thing about lightning effects, um, you can use uh, in the way whatever you want. As I said before, and uh, let's take it back a little bit. As I said before, I like um, the way that the that girl we can see on the pictures is looking into uh, our right side, and it looks nice. A uh, point to start with our lightning effects. As I said. The lights is pretty much central but um, this image is quite universal and if we have opportunity if we think that something might look better we can work with lightning effects to change a little bit perspective to make this perspective actually a little bit more interesting in the way uh, we really uh, like as you see this big ring it's our perspective this small ring is our hotspot it's like the main light and of course uh, to change perspective you can uh, manipulate by this large uh, uh, ring as you can see I can move this wherever I want in this area as well as I can press on uh, this dot and change the perspective to the totally uh, other side but as you can see it doesn't look so well as other perspective we can actually tried every direction we can do central light um, so it gives us really really a lot of opportunities in this case and I'm going to set this light in the way it was uh, pretty much uh, before uh, sorry is my if my laptop sometimes it's really really loud I will try to move this a little bit hope my microphone won't get um, too much of uh, this loudness Unfortunately, I don't have uh, influence for this. Um, so let's see. In my opinion, it's nearly done. I really like uh, the direction of the lights. The black corners here, uh, I'm just trying to see if they are not too dark. Um, have to be really really uh, careful which is not easy to set the lights in uh, the really perfect way we really wanted because sometimes after we edit um, we can actually decide that the lights are not into the direction we really want to and of course as you can see you have properties on the right side and the first uh, place is a color of course you can set uh, the color of your lines so of course if you're looking for some warm color we can choose uh, some kind of yellow uh, color to make this lightning effects a little bit um, 
yellowish but actually in my opinion I think it's better to keep the control uh, if we want to change the colors it's better to um, choose a filter later on even if it looks really really nice as you can see this kind of color is really suitable but I always recommend you to use uh, color white for our lightning effects actually because if you want to change the color of your image if you want to add some filter it's better just to do this a little bit later and it gives you um, more uh, control on this and after you set the color you have intensity and with this tool you have to be really careful of course if you take this down you're going to make this image um, darker if you're going down under the zero and you can set intensity really poorly like like this and as you can see it um the image is pretty much dark without too many contrast but if you put intensity too strong you're going to destroy this image so you have to be really careful with intensity to not make this too bright like this to not make this too dark set something between find the point you're looking for as I don't want this uh, picture to be too bright I want some kind of a mysterious effect I would say intensity for us 25 it's really great and as I said before we have hotspot and hotspot is this smaller ring um, as you can see you can set the size of your hotspot mm, hotspot is like center of your light but I want this hotspot quite big as as I said before this light is pretty much cent central and I want this light focused on focused on this area uh, on the girl a little bit and actually these two uh, are the most important of course exposure works the same so I wouldn't touch this as we said this before gloss we don't really need to play with this it doesn't change too much uh, as I said, the same about metallic and ambience. As you can see, ambience just set um, the atmosphere around. Um, but I will keep this as a zero, I would say. As I said, don't want this uh, too bright, so I will keep this the same as it was. There you go. And this. Um, lightning effect is something I was really looking for um, I just hope this part here isn't really too bright if it is maybe I should make my ring a little bit bigger like this I'm, I'm really I wonder I don't want to make this image too dark on just corners a little bit darker uh, it gives me really nice effect so take a look as I said before this effect going to be applied under our layer is like as you can see small smart filters and applied lightning effects and now just have a look how this looked before and how it looks now and as you see we didn't change the lights in this area I wanted to keep this but we burn our corners really really in really interesting way and it looks much better for me um, at the moment um, of course you can put uh, this into the group but I don't think there is a huge reason to do this so another part behind us next part about effects about filters about gradient maps and in next parts as well I'm going to show you um, some plugins.